everybody, this is Moshix and you're on the Moshix mainframe channel. Um, today we're going to be looking into how to program in C uh, on the uh, on uh, MVS 3.8 as delivered by TK4. Um, it may come as a surprise that uh, we actually have two compilers um, in, um, in TK4 um, MVS 3.8 uh, and that's because uh, some people have actually done excellent work on porting the uh, well-known new C compiler, the GCC compiler, uh, to MVS, which wasn't easy um, because uh, the GCC compiler, even the very old one that we're using here, uh, I think it's version 3.1.2, uh, which is an ancient uh, uh, <laughs> GCC compiler, is actually uh, too big to, to compile itself in uh, 16 megabytes of RAM or to be compiled in 16 megabytes of RAM. So um, some people actually found a workaround uh, in enabling a selective 31-bit mode on MVS 3.8. Uh, they call it MVS um, 380. MVS 380. Um, yeah. So there is this uh, version, very special version of MVS uh, which is able to do 31-bit um, on um, on, uh, on top of Hercules. Now, uh, obviously, that is kind of a Frankenstein uh, cr um, creation. Um, uh, there is a, a group, devoted group of people working on this thing, and they even have VSE working in 31-bit mode, and I think even VM. However, uh, what it does is it, it switches into 31-bit mode and then writes above the line, above the 16 megabyte uh, line. Um, I think Paul, Paul Edwards is the person here um, who is um, pushing this project forward. He's well known as Caravan in the Hercules mailing list. Um, however, uh, you can only have one job run this, uh, run, uh, put data or put stuff above the 16 megabytes line, above the 24-bit line, and um, and also um, MVS 3. MVS 380 only runs on Hercules 3.07. Uh, which is an ancient uh, Hercules version, and it will probably never be updated to a more ver modern version of Hercules. And uh, generally, it's a very old version of MVS 3.8 in terms of the packaging of all the software that's in there. TK4 has a ton more stuff, has TCP IP, has FTP, which uh, which is all not present in MVS 3.8. So I personally, while it's interesting from an operating system point of view, I, I suggest you don't waste any time with, with MVS 3.80. Um, but it was very, very useful in getting uh, GCC um, to compile uh, into a, from a 20 bytes, it needs 20, by, 20 megabytes during compilation. That's why uh, we, we bump against the 24 bit 16 megabyte line. Um, and then um, and then, uh, so that it was very useful for that to compile GCC. However, uh, we also have another uh, compiler called JCC. Uh, um, I think J stands for JCC Hercules C compiler. Um, um, yeah, here it is. Mm, nope, we don't have JCC here. It's listed somewhere, J, Green maybe. I, I'm not too sure anymore what the name of the person is. But anyway, we have um, these two compilers. And um, I personally prefer the JCC compiler. I think it's a better compiler, compiles uh, better code and behaves nicer with MVS. Uh, and we can see examples of um, of the C code, the same C code, both in in JCC and in uh, GCC. So this is um, a, a prime number generator written by Jürgen uh, Winkelmann, the TK4 author. Um, and here uh, it's running the JCC compile and go uh, procedure. And then here we have the GCC version, um, GC, GCC compile and go. With optimization three, and oh, okay, the the C version is new C three dot two dot three. Sorry about this before, um, 
as ported by Paul Edwards, what I just mentioned um, just previously. Both will produce workable uh, code. Um, I personally prefer JCC and one more reason to work with JCC exclusively is that um, in update 9 um, Jürgen Winkelmann has put in uh, very extensive uh, uh, TCP IP library support so we can actually start writing uh, TCP code for MVS as with any Linux um, and, uh, and so there's exciting new possibilities opening up with uh, update 9 of uh, TK4 um, however I do not know when update 9 is coming out um, there, there is I've been testing a version um, for a while um, but I think that Jurgen is still working on it um, so we will just have to wait until he is done with it um, and so there's really not much to how to use that I, I'll have an example here um, so when I program in C um, I have this header here obviously um, I only go to message class H because I like to view it in the spool viewer um, and um, and then here I have an n times n queens solver um, which um, just a, a, an n queens uh, solution finder um, as you may know I have always written um, uh, uh, n times n queens as solvers uh, for the last 34 years in every new language I learn. I think it's an excellent and stimulating exercise to use this problem to learn a new language. Uh, of course, I, I know C, I've been programming C for a long, long time. In fact, I, th I think my first C compiler was on the IBM PC, I think around, um, if I'm not mistaken, about 80 or 81. Um, and it was called the Lattice uh, C compiler. It was a 16-bit compiler, obviously, um, for the IBM PC. It cost like a thousand dollars back then, and I worked all summer to buy myself a copy of it. So actually, I learned C before I learned PL1, which is my favorite language, and, and Go language, obviously, which is my favorite language outside the mainframe. Uh, world and so that, that that's just a very simple program here. Um, one special thing about um, about using C uh, the, the C compilers is that the delimiter for the final card before going from sys in back to uh, JCL uh, is this double at uh, signs like in the email uh, at um, and I think it's because um, the uh, obviously it's not I think I know it's because the usual sign uh, for uh, uh, limiting delimiting the end of uh, sys input will be something like this, uh, which obviously means open um, open uh, opening of a comment in C, and so therefore it cannot be used, uh, and that's why we use this delimiter here. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, uh, for beautiful output, I always suggest to have something like this. This produces very beautiful output if you want to print, you know, turn it into PDF and then and then print it out. Um, if you just put the standard output, it will not come out as beautiful. Um, so um, that's really all there is to it. You execute it, and then we go 3.8. Oops, uh, start 3.8, and here it is. Um, return codes all zero for compile, prelink, and go. Um, so there's really nothing special to this. Now um, for the JCC code, um, unfortunately because of a bug in the RFE um, development environment which we're in here, you know this this thing here, rev, uh, we cannot use message class H because if I go, I'll show you in a second, but if I go and um, use H and then try to view it in the spool viewer, the output uh, created by JCC will crash my RFE. That's very strange. I just sent a message to the uh, author of RFE, Greg Price, down in Australia, in Melbourne, and uh, ask him about, it, about this box. I'm sure we'll fix it. But in the meantime, we have to go to real printer. Um, um, so, Make this a little bigger, and uh, 
And so let's execute the GCC compiler here. 58. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. So there it is. Um, the GCC uh, procedure has three steps. Um, and the interesting, the only interesting thing about the GCC compiler is that it actually goes through, um, so you can see it here, um, it goes, first it compiles and it, the compiler produces uh, S370 assembler, which is then assembled by the standard MES 3.8 IFOX, the F assembler FX assembler. And, and then uh, from that you have a load module, which is then uh, loaded by the loader and executed. So a uh, little different the JCC goes through the assembler step, which of course also means uh, for very long, uh, large programs, uh, added, added uh, compilation time. Um, but still, I mean, everything here uh, is so fast, it doesn't really matter, I'm just saying. Um, and so, um, yeah, this executed fine. The procedure here is quite a bit more complicated, and that's one more reason why I prefer J JCC. Um, as you can see here, uh, the, uh, it's all uh, JCC 3.2.3 for MBS 8.5. I don't even know what 8.5 means. Um, but here are the invocation, uh, here's the invocation for the compiler itself, and then um, we have the loader and the loader um, executes the program. So um, this is really all there is to it. Um, um, I think that if you have any TCP IP related um, uh, C uh, source code, you'll be very excited about what's coming up with uh, update nine of uh, TK4. Um, can't wait for it to be released. Um, I'm already doing some work. I'm writing a Telnet client for TSO um, using the uh, TCP IP bindings for uh, JCC. So um, again, um, I really do suggest you don't use GCC at all because of all the things I just mentioned before, but they both work. And now I'm gonna show you what happens, the bug in RFE. So um, just, okay, so I go in here in RFE, right? Uh, option one, I execute the job and put it in this, leave it in this pool with held output. And, and now we execute it. And now we go to the spool viewer. And here it is, job 59. And look what happens. I select it to view and boom, and the due to error. And if I press enter again, um, I, uh, I get back here again. Now, this works nicely if I don't have a second session open. If I have a second session open, then I never get back to the screen again. I'll show you. Uh, let's say we're here, and then I start, go here, look at this job, look what happens. It bombs out. Oh, actually this time it worked. That's very strange. Uh, but yeah, it's, but something's still wrong, as you can see. It's not able to go all the way down. So uh, there's some problem here, some RFE bug, which I, I suspect is due to some, um, to, the, to the content of uh, the output from GCC. There's some string that's in there that really royally confuses RFE, uh, but that's not really a big problem. I'm sure that uh, Greg is gonna address it, um, but here it is how to use the C compilers um, in, uh, in our beloved uh, TK4 MBS 3.8. For any questions, uh, please leave any uh, leave comments below this video. If you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe to my uh, mainframe channel so you can get notifications of future videos. If you like this particular video, please press on the thumbs up uh, um, button and um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.